welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, diagnose the central electronic control system or uh, central electronic module on Audi vehicles. This is a very critical uh, control module on Audi because there's a lot of um, systems that connect and are controlled by this. Uh, things like lights on your front, on the front, if you have works, lights that don't work, uh, horn, you know, sometimes wipers. Other systems are connected to it, and, uh, communicate through it, like ABS, and so on. So if this unit gets um, any like water damage, for example, you might have a car that doesn't start, or you might have intermittent and electrical issues. So we're going to show you how you can read codes from it. Uh, we're going to use the Ucanic scanner, and what you want to do is you want to go to Diagnostics, and then select Audi. And then uh, there's a lot of Audi models here. This is a long list. Um, to make it quicker, you can go back here. And then select the smart VIN. This will pick up the VIN of the vehicle. Here we're working on 2015 Audi Q7, but the procedure is going to be similar for other models as well. Press OK. This is a USA model, a 3.0 turbo. And then we'll press OK. Go to diagnostics. Go to control modules. And then scroll down until you see the central electronics control system. That's what you're looking for. Select that. And once you select that, you should see this screen. This screen is where you can read codes. Uh, clear codes, look at live data, and do some tests. But if you get an error code that says no communication, then uh, your central uh, electronics control system is having an issue. It's not getting power, it's damaged, something is going on. So you should be seeing this. If you're seeing it, this, you're communicating with that control module. You can read codes, and in this case, we don't have any full codes at all. You can clear codes if you have any. You know, if you have old codes that are not active, you can just clear them. If you have codes that um, are um, are active, you need to fix them before you can clear them. You can look at ECU information like the hardware and software numbers right here. You can see this. If you, for example, need a replacement part, um, now this part usually does need coding. On some of the older, like pre-2015. Audi vehicles, um, you could find the used module um, as long as it's from a car with a similar specs and then install it. You might be able to get away with not coding this control module, but um, if it's a brand new um, central electronic control module, then you're going to need to have that um, programmed. Now, if you go to live data here, go to custom list, you can look at live data from a lot of things low beams, high beams, horn, washer, voltages, rain sensor, so if you have any of those, the seat memory, steering wheel, you can see battery uh, manager, we're going to hit select all, it's over 70 different data points, but these are live, so if you were to activate a switch, and uh, for example you turn on and off the low beams, they should change from off to on, and if it doesn't, then uh, maybe there is an issue with a switch that you're controlling. Now I will also show you how you can actually use a scanner to activate those different components. So if we go back here and go back one more time, uh, go back up again, go to active tests and go to selective active tests and you can see the different things. F uh, footwell lights, you can turn those on and off. For example, you press start, footwell Let's turn on. You can go back. Once your washer pump, you know you want to test that. The turn signals, you want to test those. Low beams, high beams, fog lights. Uh, for example, relay for the horn. You press start. You can hear the horn there. Uh, blinkers, and so on. So this is uh, how you can read the codes from the central electronic controls module on uh, Audi vehicles and um, as I said earlier if you cannot see the screen at all then there might be an issue 
could be with this um, control module, but it could also sometimes be with another one uh, that's on the same CAN network because you can have a module that's uh, down and that can affect other modules. It brings everything down that's on the same network, it brings it down as well. So if you go back some more, there's, you can run a quick scan. And what this will do is we'll go through all the control modules and you can see where you have fault codes and what's what's not communicating and what's communicating and uh, then you can go from there. Thank you for watching Mechanic where you can be the mechanic.